Hello everyone, my name is Tony Wu, and today I'm presenting ZebraSense on behalf of my co-authors Shiho Fukuhara, Nicholas Gillian, Kishore Sundara Rajan, and Ivan Pupriyev. ZebraSense is a textile capacitive touch sensor capable of detecting which surface the touch interaction occurred, and it is our team's latest innovation in blending interactive technologies with soft goods to create novel user interfaces. Historically, a major shortcoming of on-body capacitive touch sensing is that the sensor is prone to unwanted signals attributed to the interior proximity of the body. Some existing solutions place a thick fabric between the body and the sensing area to create sufficient attenuation of the body coupling, which works well for certain types of apparels, but not if they need to be really breathable or conformal. Hence, one original motivation behind ZebraSense was to solve this issue more elegantly than existing methods. However, we soon realized that ZebraSense could in fact be much more impactful than we had originally intended. Most touch devices today, whether big or small, are mainly constrained by their form factor and use case to only allow interaction with one surface of the device. I mean, why would you want to have touch controls on the inside of your washing machine anyway? But what's different about textiles is that it naturally has affordances which invite the user to touch both sides of the fabric. Because they're thin, flexible, and are often worn on the body, textiles provide the perfect surfaces for ZebraSense to enable double-sided touch interactions and meaningfully new user experiences. The sensing structure of ZebraSense can be easily created with an array of conductors alternatingly placed into two layers which are separated by a small distance delta Z. For reference simplicity, the top layer is labeled with even indices and the bottom layer odd indices. When a capacitive touch is introduced, nearby sensing elements on both layers respond, but the ones on the layer farther in the Z direction will have attenuated signals due to the delta Z separation. We propose a simple Z direction detection formula, which we label as KZ, that evaluates the sum of capacitance differences between each even and odd sensing pair in the array. The result is positive if the touch is from the even layer, and negative if odd, while the amplitude of KZ indicates the confidence of direction detection. Every sensor has its own strengths and weaknesses, so let's discuss some of the limitations that ZebraSense currently faces and some example solution strategies. In general, we're interested in two interaction modes for ZebraSense, asynchronous and synchronous. Asynchronous interactions are where only one side of the sensor is being touched at one time, and the z-direction detection is simple by just applying the kz formula mentioned previously. Synchronous interactions are where both sides of the sensor are being touched simultaneously. In this case, the kz result can become ambiguous for some scenarios. Let's consider two contrasting examples of synchronous interactions in the context of an interactive sleeve. When the sleeve is tight, the relative motion between ZebraSense and the arm is limited, hence the sensor will see very little signal from the interior thanks to common baselining techniques. Any intentional gesture on the exterior surface will dominate and it is trivial to recognize Z direction. On the other end of the spectrum, when the sleeve is hanging loosely, the sensor will get pushed into the arm and the sensor will see strong signals from both surfaces simultaneously. In this case, direction detection with the basic KZ formula will not suffice, and some more robust techniques are required. For these situations, we have explored two mitigation strategies, based in soft goods and in software. On the soft goods side, our experiments showed that by simply adding a 0.8 millimeter thin fabric between the body and the interior sensing area, one can completely mitigate wrongly classified directions with simple KZ heuristics. And on the software side, we implemented more robust signal processing and ML techniques to address these harder synchronous cases. The details of these techniques are more thoroughly discussed in our paper. Finally, I'd like to wrap up the presentation with two fun use case demos that we've built with ZebraSense. In addition to the acknowledgments in the paper, I'd like to thank the following people for helping make this presentation possible. Thanks for your time and please check out our paper for more details on ZebraSense.